So which one's your favorite? Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter jelly. What's your other favorite? Poop boy. Cool! I love having boys. Sugar. Sugar. Everything has sugar. I'm Hannah, I'm the world's okayest mom, and my family has a sugar problem. Now, I feel like it's my fault because I'm a busy working mom and I let a lot of things slide and I kind of say yes a little bit too much. And so now my kids are expecting treats all the time and I feel like their behavior is suffering as a result. They're not getting good sleep and they're throwing a lot of tantrums lately. Now, I'm not a nutritionist, but I think we can all agree that too much sugar is not good for you. So I want to try something. For one whole week, I'm going to cut out all added sugar from my family's diets. Now, I'm not saying we're going to last a whole week. Not saying we're going to be okay with this. And we might end up eating each other at the end, but I'm going to stay positive and see what happens. So wish us luck. So some ground rules for the week because sugar is kind of a broad term. The sugar that we were cutting out was added processed sugar. We weren't cutting out fruit, we're not cutting out fruit juice, but anything that has sugar added to it or any processed sugar at all was off the table. So I went specially grocery shopping at the beginning of the week for this experiment. Goodbye. So I am pretty shaken up over how much stuff actually has sugar in it. I felt completely lost in that grocery store and I was like checking every label and I'd get through like 90% of the ingredients and then boom at the bottom, sugar. I was very surprised to see just how much has sugar in it that I've thrown in my cart and not even thought about, like tomato sauce. When I was looking at the different brands, I actually found one that didn't have sugar in it. And so had I just taken the time before to check, I wouldn't be purchasing tomato sauce with sugar all this time. He's upset because he really wanted kick cereal. And we're doing cottage cheese and fruit. Aww. I do not like it. Well, you're eating your oranges. I'm proud of you. Okay, so I totally forgot we have catered lunch today. No. No. I don't know what's on this. Nope. This is my plate. It looks like a rabbit's plate. This is Alex's plate. No. Because she eats meat. <laughs> but I literally, I. I'm like not looking forward to this. Like wet kale. Getting home really dawned on me that I'm gonna be doing a lot of cooking this week. You want dinner? Sure. You wanna eat the broccoli I'm making? No. Yes. Tonight we're gonna have some roasted broccoli and some chicken and tri-tip. For the boys, we did pretty good. Is this mommy? Jackson is got some is broccoli, tri-tip, chicken, is this inside out PJ shirt. It is 8 p.m. <laughs> We're currently eating. So in addition to changing my shopping habits, I had to change my whole wind down evening me time relaxation habits. I get home from work, we do dinner, get the kids in bed, and then that's my time to shine. And I park my butt right here on this couch, grab a pint of ice cream, turn on my true crime shows, and I just slug out. Now I try to deny this to my kids. I try to pretend like it doesn't happen, but they know. I'm not eating sugar. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. No. So the kids are asleep and this is typically the time that I would uh, raid the freezer and get some ice cream or get some candy, but I'm not gonna do that. My body's like, come on, it's time. But no, so I'm gonna eat some uh, kale snacks that my mom gave me. So I made this oatmeal this morning. It took forever and I'm gonna throw some blackberries on it and that's breakfast. I ended up having to make oatmeal from scratch because a lot of the packaged oatmeal and the instant oatmeal has sugar in it if it's flavored. The oatmeal's really good. Oh my God. You like it? Yeah. Nice. They were super excited about the oatmeal I made and were like, oh, it's actually good. That's some dank oatmeal. I probably shouldn't say dank. 
Dank is done because I said it. Dank is officially over. No one can say that anymore. I'm sorry to the youth. So very quickly, I realized that at work, I needed to bring all of my own food because I work at Tasty. It's the most epic food channel ever. And there's always the most delicious food just coming out of that kitchen 24 seven. It's just too tempting with all the snacks and all the catered lunches and all this delicious food that's always there. Nick and I are having our healthy lunches. Oh, mine's not that healthy. Kind of. I want dessert. I didn't bring a piece of fruit. I should have brought like a piece of fruit with me. And I ended up starting to live vicariously through my coworkers. Can you just taste it and tell me how it tastes? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Am I missing out? There's something really satisfying about watching someone else enjoy food. I'd be like all up in their mouth, like, let me see. It's chocolate and white chocolate and shortbread. Is it good? Mm. All right, another morning, another breakfast grind and lunch grind. What do you want? Quesadilla. Jackson has requested oatmeal and Wyatt has requested a quesadilla this morning. So I'm making it because it doesn't have any sugar, but it's really tough when they each ask for something different and I have to make two breakfasts. I'm actually feeling okay today. My face is a little less puffy. Usually it's really puffy when I wake up and I think that's partially due to the excess amount of ice cream I eat at night. For me, I have a really big sweet tooth and I realized throughout this week how much I rely on sugar for energy throughout the day. I am the first one home this evening, so I'm going to go ahead and start making dinner. Uh, today was pretty difficult, but I feel like it's getting easier. Although I do have a crazy work week this week and I have noticed that me craving sugar has kind of clouded my ability to work a little because I'm thinking about it a lot more and kind of craving it. But I have a great dinner plan tonight. I'm making a falafel feast with this flatbread and hummus and garlic spread and tabbouleh and tzatziki and olives and it's gonna be delicious. I'm very happy with this dinner. The kids already ate. I do feed them, I promise. Towards the end of the week, I really thought we had jumped over a hurdle, like we were on our way and doing great. But then I made the mistake of deviating from my usual special oatmeal. And I decided to make pancakes and I used this pancake mix that's you know, full of wheat flour and protein and no added sugar. But then when I served them, I realized I had nothing to put on top of them and that did not go over well. He's crying because I won't put syrup on his pancakes. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetheart. <laughs> so Matt agreed to participate in this experiment as well, which I was really excited about because we're all doing it as a family. Obviously we eat breakfast and dinner together, but I wanted him to suffer. <laughs> like I was suffering. <laughs> but I don't know if I quite trust that he followed through every day when he was gone at work. How'd you do today? No added sugar. Oh, really? I had a veggie burrito. Oh, really? Mm hmm Hmm. Really? In his defense, I didn't make it easy for him. Do you want ice cream? Should we cheat? No. It's been like five days. Let's keep going. We have Magnum bars in the freezer. <laughs> Why are you saying this? And just so you guys know that I haven't edited this to make myself look completely guilt free and like I did this experiment perfectly, I have a, a confession. I messed up. She cheated. I messed up. I didn't mean to. It was totally by accident. I had a coworker who was like tasting all these things and she's like, can you taste this and tell me if it's spicy? And I'm like, oh, I love spicy food. And I put it in my mouth and the second I did, I was like, oh, I could taste the sugar on it. I just, my hands just grab food if it's offered and they just move right to my mouth. My hands have a mind of their own, okay? Day six, got my iPads on. For breakfast, we are doing a totally health food packed smoothie. And we're gonna get some donuts. Oh, okay. Donuts! Donuts! <laughs> no, donuts. he's joking. He's joking. I want donuts! Now, on the final day of this week, we had an event. My really good friend's son was turning three, and she's having a big backyard birthday party for him. There is nothing more tempting, sugar-wise, than a birthday party. Yeah. So we're on the way to the birthday party. We have two arguing kids Don't in the back. So 
I'm a little nervous because they're already in kind of gnarly moods and they haven't napped today. How do you think we're gonna do at this birthday party with no sugar? Oh, yeah. Mama. To be continued on that. Mama. So far, so good. There's a yeah. bounce house. There he is. So, so far, so good. At the end of the party, we were doing so well. We were packing up our stuff to go and I made the fatal mistake of peeing. You parents out there know, you can never go to the bathroom without something horrible happening. Oh man, now I can't take it away from him. Would you take a cupcake out of your very temperamental three-year-old's hands at a party with a bunch of other parents? Yeah, no, I was, I was not about to go there. But then, <laughs> when Wyatt has a cupcake in his hands, that's not fair to Jackson. So Jackson needs a cupcake and it just triggered this chain of events of like, ah, you get a cupcake and you get a cupcake. And I had to literally like yell at Matt to back away from the cake. Think about it, Go, drop the knife, walk away, walk away. Stop the cupcake cycle, like stop, everybody stop. And here's the kicker of the whole cupcake situation. While I was in the bathroom, Matt was outside with the kids. Now I'm not accusing him giving Wyatt the cupcake himself, but all I know is that he assisted in unwrapping it. So in total, we made it six and three quarters of a day, which is six days longer than I really thought we would last. Good enough. So in conclusion, my learnings from this week, one of the main reasons why I did this experiment is because I was looking to see how it would affect my kids. I was looking at their temperament, their behavior, and their sleeping habits. And I definitely saw improvement in all three. They really did seem to have an improved mood and more energy and just not crashing so much at the end of the day. Now for me, kind of had the opposite effect. I was so aware that we weren't eating any sugar, it just made me think about it all the time, and so I felt very distracted throughout the week. I'm really happy, I love kale, I love grass. I kind of envy my kids, because they were for the most part oblivious to this experiment, because they have someone just making food for them. I kind of wish I had this magic food maker who just decided everything I got to eat, instead of me just eating a bunch of cottage cheese all week. So going forward, I really think that there are a lot of swaps that we can do and a lot of things we can be more conscious of. Instead of cereal, serving oatmeal, or instead of packaged fruit bars, we'll just eat fresh fruit. I think those are little swaps and little changes that are gonna help us long-term. And I'm definitely gonna be more mindful shopping in the grocery store to look at the ingredients and really look for what I'm bringing into our house. Because all of it has freaking sugar, all of it. Ugh. So that's all I got for today. I'm Hannah, and if you have any tips or tricks to get your kids to eat better, please leave them in the comments, but be nice to each other, guys, because we're all just trying to get by here. Or you can text me, this is a real number, and I do read each and every one. I don't always respond because I get a lot, but I love hearing what you guys have to say. Now, if you'll please excuse me, my kids are asleep. This is my time to sit on the couch like the sloth that I am and enjoy a box of Girl Scout cookies. Till next time. I miss them. I miss you. Don't look at me.